I made another batch of cardboard bases and uh, the goal with this uh, particular experiment was to uh, try to develop consistent strength and power in one of these cardboard bases at the very least to uh, hold back an invisibase strength cleat. Uh, I made 11 bases and uh, with all with different designs with you know I did different things to the prongs just trying different things. Now before we uh, do this uh, as a control here the, the the power is you know my the batteries are going dead in this thing so let's begin with um, uh, an ITZ professionally tweaked uh, speed uh, fast base here just to just to, the viewers can get a sense of how fast uh, upper level is here okay let's just keep that in mind I mean we've we're probably down to half power in, the, in this board for comparison here's a an ITZ power base it's going to be slower much slower actually and here is that uh, Invisibase strength cleat. Now it is my strongest Invisibase, but it's not particularly a, a good runner here, as you can see. Uh, okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and look at. We're just going to pick some bases here. This is just a pretty standard uh, design. Very little curl in the prongs. Um, just run it for a minute and then we'll do some strength tests. So it's kind of on par with the speed of the ITZ power base, which we'll look at in a minute. Let's first let's take it on a strength trial here against a, a Tudor Invisa base on the right. That's discouraging. So if it can't withstand him, obviously it's not going to withstand an ITZ power base here. Yeah, okay. And just for fun, how does he do against a fast ITZ base, tweaked for speed rather than strength? Jinkies. Okay, so, uh, so very, very little curl doesn't seem to uh, do the trick. All right. And I'm just going to grab another base here. Very short prongs with lots of curl. Okay, let's run it to see how well it performs downfield. At least a little way. Yeah, decent performer. Uh, let's uh, test him for strength here against a ITZ or a Invisibase. Yeah, wasn't too bad, was it? too embarrassing so uh, okay let's uh, actually uh, just for fun put him up against the uh, number 67 here the uh, ITZ base okay so uh, looks like short prongs with lots of curl don't uh, really hold the cardboard uh, bases don't really uh, have a lot of power so let's uh, try another base here Decently long prongs, but with a nice curl to them. First, let's see how it performs downfield. Fairly fast base, not as fast as the ITZ fast base, but uh, okay. Let's look at its power or lack thereof. Let's see against the untweaked Invisa base. Okay, okay. Try again. Well, it's not embarrassing. Um, just kind of bouncing off each other, though, aren't they? That's an interesting result. So he's holding the line against... And that's just our pretty standard fast base down the field, isn't it? Let's let them just really pop each other and see what happens. That's very curious. So, for my knowledge here, number 98... Is on this base um, just a pretty standard uh, design right there that we've been going with the, the front and rear prongs are essentially the same size it looks like the front prong is a little more curled than the rear prong uh, on the other side that they, they actually look more uniform so we'll just have to put that one aside 
and uh, make a note that that one performed okay now. <laughs> this one did. Uh, I think with this one, what I tried to do was use the clippers and just uh, just go all the way down on the prong to see if I could just get a nice, crisp, straight edge across on both prongs. Uh, first of all, I mean, common parlance suggests that is a totally ruined base. It would be if it was an IT or an Invisibase. Uh, but let's see. And I've had to really squish the uh, putty underneath there to keep it from interfering with, you know, touching the field. Um... <laughs> Okay, well, first of all, that's crazy that it still work, runs so well. I mean, it's slow. Uh, I would only put this on a lineman figure. Uh, is there any power with this real small, pro, this low profile and short, stubby prongs that are just barely curled? Uh, let's see against the uh, Invisibase here. That's pretty curious. Let's try again. Invisibase is still kind of winning here. Let's let them just pop each other. I mean, obviously the real test is, you know, two yards apart, which is how the uh, offensive and defensive line would be uh, facing up against each other. You know what? That's a fairly even match, so <laughs> maybe there's something to be said in that. We'll uh, keep that in mind. Oh, no, 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 before we do that, let's pit them up against uh, uh, the power base, the uh, ITZ base. This is probably uh, no contest. Let's see. As I suspected. I'm beginning to wonder if there's any possible way that cardboard is going to uh, even come close to matching the uh, ITZ bases. And uh, probably not, but we'll just keep doing our tests here. Okay, so that's a strong base. Well, comparatively strong. Here's another fairly standard design, but the uh, front prongs are much more curled than the rear prongs. So let's see first if it's a performer. Pretty good performer, yeah. Um, let's put him up against the Invisibase. Yeah, he's being bullied. He's being bullied. So there may be... Uh, maybe there is still correlation. If they're, they're fast, they're 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 not strong. Okay, no match, and obviously no match against number sixty-seven here. Okay, well, still pretty nice base. Now, um, what we got here? Okay, you know I've got this on a. Uh, a wide out here. I bet you this is just simply a fast base that I was like, you know what? Well, let's see first. Yeah. I think this is one of the bases where like, you know what? This is actually a really good uh, fast base. I'm not going to even try to tweak this for speed. Or for strength. He's a drifter to the right, like most of the bases I create. And uh, we can... Uh, Compensate for that a little just by shifting him over to the left side of the base. That's not a great answer, but you know what? It does work. Uh, but now, what about just for curiosity? I'd be very surprised if he does well against this. Yeah, he's, he's not uh, very strong. I didn't think he was. It's not too embarrassing. He's a little stronger than the other uh, three weak ones here, but let's just go ahead and just for our experiment, just keep things consistent. Yeah, okay. Well, number 14, other than the loop, which I could sit and mess with these prongs and get rid of, and that may be what I do uh, later on. But, for now, we'll just, uh, you know, he's still not too bad. Uh, let's, uh, okay. This one, very short prongs, very curled on the front and the back. So, not as short as, as that stubby one, but, uh, 
if I'm not mistaken, this uh, was a fast bass, but now it's slow. Let's see. No, no. It's actually still a fairly good performer. Uh, let's test for a string against the ITZ bass. I meant the Invisi bass. I keep saying that. Let's try them from different angles. That wasn't too bad. Not bad at all, is it? Good, good performer and strong, comparatively speaking. So, again, short prongs. Uh, so far, well, no, this one was pretty strong, and it didn't have short prongs. <sighs> oh, now he's getting bullied. That is a little weird, isn't it? You know, two or three minutes ago, he... Uh, Performed quite well, and now he's not. Well, now, there we go. Inconsistency. I don't like that. Okay, well, we'll, we'll keep him in the positive results pile for now. Um, next. Okay. Short prongs, but not as much curl. Do my very best not to use bad language here. I'm just really annoyed that all my bases are drifting off to the right. Um, it's got to be something with my techniques for uh, uh, snipping the prongs or, or, or you know bending them to get them in the right shape. I don't think it's the platforms. Uh, all these really do is add a little uh, durability. I don't even know they add that much weight to the to the figure. Maybe a microscopic amount. But I suppose that could make a difference. Damn, it's even worse coming this way. I'm, uh... I don't know. I mean... Well, trying to figure out why I'm getting all these loopers is not... Uh, bending the prongs is what's causing the loop most of the time. My straight edge uh, base is almost all advanced downfield. So it's got to be something with... Uh, the, the curve and the prongs that's causing the loop. Okay. Well, you know, cocking him off to the side of the base resolved it. Uh, let's check strength. And, uh... Okay. And just for uh, dem demo purposes... You still got three more bases to test here. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, next, we have. Um, uh, it looks like the front prong is shorter than the rear prong, but about the same amount of curve. Maybe the fastest base of this batch. Anybody else notice that there's a lack of momentum in midfield where the motor is? A little weird, isn't it? Could be the, the low battery power. Okay, that's not what we're here to do. We'll uh, address that later. Okay. Say, that wasn't too bad. Try again. You know, he's actually pushing back this base. Okay, now that... There, that's weird. Inconsistency. Well, anyway, he's performing quite well against it. There's not a lot of cushion as far as the curve goes. That's almost, you know, at the edge of the cardboard touching the... Okay, I just, folks, I just can't figure out, we'll put them in the positive result pile there. I just can't, I just can't nail this. Okay, we'll save that one for last. Actually, we'll save that one for last. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. We didn't put that last one against the ITZ base, but what would be the point? I mean, okay, very long prong on the back, comparatively speaking. And it's kicked back a little bit for drag. And uh, a rather shorter prong in the front. 
roughly the same amount of curve. First, let's see if he performs. He performs quite well. And, uh, you know, I don't like that on the pro from looking bird's eye because usually that makes the bases really slow. And before I do anything about that, let's uh, check for strength here. That's not a bad result. Try again. Wow, he's holding against the base. Huh. Very interesting. We'll give. We'll uh. We'll go ahead and just humor my curiosity here. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, maybe there's something to be said about the short prong in front and the, the long prong in the back, which uh, really elevates the figure. Now, before we uh, move on from this one, I just want to do this. See what this does. That actually slowed the figure down a little bit, but did it affect the strength? Oh, damn. Um, so, pl prong position matters, which we already knew that, but the concern there is that um, it's very easy to change the prong position on these cardboard uh, bases. See, now we're back to pretty good performance. Um, every time you pick these up, put them in the, in the storage container, you put them back down on the field, the prongs are going to move somewhat. Um, okay, still a good performing base against the... Uh, let's check the ITZ one more time. Uh, we've got a discussion in the comment section. Oh, man, now he's being bullied. There we go. These are wildly inconsistent results. Okay, uh, we've got a discussion going in the comment section of the uh, of another video. Uh, the idea was suggested to uh, coat the prongs on these with something to, to you know keep them uh, with uh, to lock in their tweak. And I think it's a good idea. I had uh, considered using Mod Podge for that purpose. Probably not on the edge of the base, though. On the uh, edge that touches the uh, field. I, I wouldn't want glue on that. I just worry that over time that paint would start flaking off and get on the field, which uh, I don't know what the ramifications of that would be. Okay. Uh, might be something to experiment with, though. Uh, because, you know, if one of these, if, especially the back leg, if the back prong gets kicked out behind it, it, it slows the figure down definitely, and it doesn't look to me like it adds any strength. And and that can, especially with the cardstock bases, that can happen simply by putting the figure down on the field. That can, you know, flatten out the back prong and, and flip it backwards a little bit. All right, the last one here is a ridiculously short front prong and a long rear prong. So this figure is going to be tilted forward, obviously. Now, uh... How does he run, first of all? Well, slow, which I expected, but surprisingly good. I mean, you did that to an Invisibase, it'd be ruined. But, uh, well, let's check for strength against this IT, or this uh, Invisibase. Uh, this is the design we have suspected might be very strong. So let's see. that strong at all. It's certainly not stronger than an untweaked strength cleat. In fact, it's, it's, it's not performing well at all. That's, um, well, that's the result. That's not the result we were hoping for. So out of this batch of 11 figures, I really don't have any dominant uh, strength. Uh, in fact, now, that design is getting pushed back, so... Uh, 
secretly this is the design I kind of hope would uh, be able to hold back an ITZ base at least. Not a sausage. So, well, just for uh, giggles here, how's it do against an ITZ fast base? Ah, it almost holds a fast base. So, maybe, you know, that's a surprising result. Okay. Well, now before I evaluate the strength on these, let me first say that, as you saw, there was not a single dud in the batch. Even the ones that I did some ridiculous things to, the very stubby prongs still works. The uh, very stubby front prong still works. Uh, barely any curve at all still works. Uh, it's just, uh, it's amazing how forgiving these cardboard bases are as far as continuing to achieve forward progress downfield and with with no bounce 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 and you can if you leave the uh, prong straight there's going to be bounce but they still perform okay so you know it's beginning to look like these will certainly not compete with plastic bases but um you know that remains to be seen we're still doing testing i know other coaches are making these now and doing some testing on them uh hopefully someone will crack this code and um Maybe it's a question of material. Maybe uh, cardboard and cardstock. Um, maybe we just haven't found the right grade of cardstock yet. Maybe one ten pound is is still too soft. Maybe it's still too pliable. Maybe something between one ten pound cardstock and uh, a Lucky Charm cereal box may be the answer. Um, that remains to be seen, I suppose. But very quickly, let's just run these five decently strong bases again against the uh, Invisa base. We're, there's no point in putting these up against the ITZ base. It's it's a non-starter, so let's... Okay. So this is very, very short prongs front and back. Comically short, with very little curl. Alright. Alright, these are both weighted with uh, uh, poster putty, so, you know, presumably they're roughly the same weight. That's not definite, though. I don't have a scale that will... Uh, it's uh, sensitive enough to, to actually weigh figures. All right, this is the uh, long prongs with the uh, moderate curl in them. I was getting good results out of this one a while ago. Okay, now we're not. So I'm uh, a little chagrined by the inconsistency. That's better. That may just be what we're dealing with with cardboard, you know. It's okay. At this point, with cardboard bases, I think the best policy is to just make a bunch of bases until you get, you know, five or six strong ones to put on your offensive and defensive line and, you know, five or six fast ones to put on your uh, secondary or your uh, skill players. So, I mean... That's one way to do it. All right, next one is the uh, shorter front prong with a little more curl to it. Oh dear, now once again we're getting inconsistent results. That one, well, I think it's, this one was fairly decent. See? That is kind of cool that every time you don't know whether he's going to hold the line or not. I mean, you could play into that, you know, add a little uncertainty to the game. Um, uh, you know, enthusiasts well vested monetarily into the hobby will never stand for that, obviously. But they want consistent results every time. And I understand that. Okay, so... Next. We have, this one was a pretty fast one, uh, moderate curl on both front and back. Moderately long prongs as well. All right, here we go again. It's I like how they kind of bounce off each other sometimes, like the old TTC bases. Whoa! That's insane. Okay. Well, you know, several different designs here that 
five different designs that are working and here's the uh, stubby prongs with the uh, ex exaggerated curl on the uh, on them okay <laughs> if mr. Uh, a client is watching this and or mr. long uh, how do you interpret these results It would be nice to put these up against one of Victor Robinson's strength cleats because he tweaks those really well. And that would be the real uh, test. Um, I might pull one of my inferior strength cleats out of the bag here or out of the, the container and put it up against these and he'd just push them all off the field. It, it's weird. It's, it's just real weird, the inconsistency we're getting with, with this. Or is it? I mean, we are dealing with cardboard versus well researched and developed plastic design so and, and you know we're this is the research and development we're doing right now so i can't be really disappointed with this i just i'm puzzled if i made another one of these with the same design would it also uh, perform this way well we'll find that out in the days and weeks and months to come okay well anyway that's the uh, strength trial uh those were results. Um, I can't really determine whether they were positive or, or, or negative. We're, I'm still no wiser to what makes a strength base, a power base, as far as the cardboard medium goes. Uh, you can't get thicker prongs than, than these. And uh, so I, you know, we're just going to have to do more R&D on these. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again real soon. Have a good night.